Hey everybody, hope you're all doing right out there. As you may know, I currently have this BSA Gold Star on loan from BSA to make a few videos and a review on. I've already made my first ride where I was riding around my local area and sort of gave you a few feelings about the comfort and what I thought about it straight off. I've done a close-up look looking at all the specifications and the bits and pieces of the bike, but today is the fun one. Onto the motorways, into the roads, let's see what this thing's got in it, because it is a 650, but it does sound very quiet. And, uh, it would be interesting to see because I've only ridden it on 40 mile an hour roads so far. But it's, it's nice to get the, uh, the close up look out of the way while the bike's still clean because it won't be clean after this. <laughs> well, after I've had it for a, a week anyway. Right, so 70 is straight down and a bit to the left. I can say now that the, if I look in my wing mirrors, the headlights behind me are circles, pure circles from vibrations. This is more vibey once it gets up in the revs a bit. Okay, fifth gear, 70 miles an hour, four and a half thousand RPM. The vibrations have gone away. I can actually see in my mirrors again. Wow, that's, that's better than my DR by some way. I will do a longer trip on this. I've got a chisel or something and sit on a motorway for a long time at some point this week. Uh, it is supposed to be a nice sunny day this afternoon. It's actually supposed to be brightening up. But as you can see, it's getting very dark. I hope that doesn't mean I'm about to get rained on. Yeah, suspension is still a little soft on the rear. I could maybe max that out, but I don't know if I want to. I really, really think the, the attitude feel of this bike would be quite different if it was a bit more, you know, loud. But maybe you don't want to be obnoxious and loud like I do with my dear. Uh, it's not obnoxious, but it, it's more open. You actually hear what a single sounds like. Get some raps. Now these are the sorts of roads that this bike belongs on, classic old English country roads, the way it used to be many, many years ago. Covered in poop. Of course, it's, um, it's been raining. This is going to just be an algae filled mud pit. As I said, I knew this bike was going to get dirty. It's going to have to have a bloody good clean before I give it back to them. I don't know if other reviewers do that, but if I borrow a bike, when they get it back, if it was given to me clean and polished, they get it back clean and polished. If they give it to me dirty, they get it back clean and polished. Because, why not? You know, the next guy doesn't want to receive it dirty. Oh, God. Yep. It's, it's the winter time. This turns into a semi-river. Oh, God. It's fine. This is a do-anything bike. This is back in the day when it was like, what? An off-road bike? A sports bike? What are these things? They're just bikes. You just do whatever. It's an off-road bike when you go off-road. Oh, this is so slippery and gungy. Oh, that's a blocked road. Now, the question is, do I take it through the Ford? Um, there's a piece of bodywork in the Ford. I'm not going through the Ford. <laughs> I would do that on my bikes anytime. I'm not going to do it one of theirs. So you take the, uh, the around route. Oh, there we go. Let's go this way and see if we can find some fishes in the river. Oh, it's, yeah, uh, it's pure algae. It's pure algae. This is mildly terrifying. Just keep it level, no direct inputs and all will be well and then never, ever, ever return until you forget and do it again. I really do hope I get a couple of dry days this week, though I, I don't feel like it's going to be sunny and dry enough for long enough to dry these roads out.
Good day to you, sir. Oh, he's looking at the coos. The moo coos. All right, let's approach the river stealthily. Any fishes? Ah, no fishes. Well, there's bird feeders and all sorts here. It's good of people. And then you have the other side of people in society. Also, this is where the suspension makes more sense. Uh, as I say, it does feel a little bit soft at times, but when you get on properly bumpy roads, you realise, wait a minute, this is actually really quite smooth feeling, and I haven't been jarred once, my back is not feeling sore. I mean, that's something else to say, I'm six foot four, and so far the comforter, this has actually been really nice, it's very upright. Uh, it, you definitely don't get any wind protection or anything like that, because that's not the style of bike that it is, but it's a fun style of bike, even if the conditions are a little bit treacherous. These roads really are not a huge amount of fun right now. I mean, I'm sure you can see the green in the middle, but you probably can't feel the algae and the, the, the munched leaves. This is... Give me a dry, clean road, please. I would very much enjoy that right now. And here it is, my dry, clean road. Here we go. Okay, it does have some engine braking in there. Oh, maybe these roads will be a little less wet because they're used a lot more. I'm not sure. I'm, a, I'm actually quite surprised by how much grunt this thing's got because it doesn't feel like it's going to have it because it just keeps giving you more and more and when you expect it to start running out like a single does it actually's got a bit more going there uh, the longer gearing from what it feels like longish gearing really does help that uh, it's also why it feels nice short shifting because so you can just stay in one gear these aren't any better than the other ones <laughs> as in the roads <sighs> yeah still slippy and slidey and there's diesel on this one even better I really am quite enjoying this engine now. It, it definitely, you know, once you get to know how to use it, it's good fun. And it just, you see what I mean? It just keeps pulling a bit more than you maybe expect a single to. The only thing that may be laying it down a little bit is the EFI in ti at times feels a little bit not quite, like it's not quite sophisticated enough. It's kind of blocking its way through the map. Um, and I think that possibly could have something to do with this very restricted exhaust. And uh, maybe if, you know, you unrestricted the exhaust, it had a little bit freer flowing air, it might sort that out. It seems like you get to 60 just as you're getting into fourth gear and you can easily push that past 70 in that gear and then you've got another gear to go now the handling is not you know super sharp sport focused solid on rails handling it's got a bit of a bumping around and a bit of bouncing about and it, it, it feels fun what i'm starting to realize is what this bike has in spades is character it feels characterful and yes i'm afraid to say that character in a bike are its its nuances, its quirks, its maybe even flaws in some examples, but they make it what it is. They make it a much more um, fun experience. You know, the, the classic thing people say about some brands that do things too perfectly is that they feel clinical and yeah, they're like super fast and they can go around corners like nothing else, but you just don't feel the, the, the fun so much. You know, you don't feel that buzz. 
in the middle of the summer on some country roads buzzing around on this you will be buzzing as I mentioned before, this is amazingly smooth for a single cylinder. And even though as you get into the revs, it does get a bit more buzzy and there's like harmonic points, the mirrors start buzzing. It still doesn't feel like it's got that many vibrations compared to say my 440 TR or some of the other single cylinder bikes I've ridden. I imagine they must have a massive counterweight on that crank. I'm doing 60 miles an hour at 3,800 RPM. Very smooth, very comfortable, still rolls on. How I was comfortable to do this in fourth gear and you put it in fifth and it can still roll on. That is great. I think I probably would like it to have a shorter throttle throw. That is one thing I've just noticed. You kind of have to twist and then twist a little bit more. I do think that would be an improvement. Single cylinders, you know, you, you, they tend to have pretty short throws on the throttle. Well, there you go. There's a little ride on country roads on the BSA 650 Gold Star. I'm having a lot of fun. Subscribe to see more. Like the video if you liked it. And uh, support me on Patreon and YouTube memberships where you can see these videos early. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.